So, you wanted a truck review. Well, you're getting one now. Hello, hello, and hello from inside. Big Dog. He is my truck. I have had him since I was 19 years old. Um, so that's been 24 now. It's five years, right? Yeah, it's five. Um, however, this bad boy has been in my family since I was a little baby, since I was three years old. Um, fun story, we actually bought him for my dad's birthday. Basically, me and my mom, we went to the car lot and we were looking at the truck. So at first I picked out a red one, but then they were like, no, your dad doesn't want a red one because the red's gonna fade into peak and he's gonna drive a pink truck. So then we found a white one. And I was very adamant about getting this truck in particular, not the red one that we first found, but this one. And true story, I got $10,000 off of this truck because the salesman asked me, why are you so adamant about getting this truck? And at three years old, I said, because it's gonna be mine one day. I was making power moves back then, I didn't even know. So yeah, there's a little history for you. Um, I guess I should give you a tour. We're gonna make this like freaking fancy. I know that he's a he's an old truck, he's a 2002, but we're gonna make this fancy. Cue the fancy music editing me. So we got this nice rear view mirror. It shows me everything I need to see behind me. We did have a direction thing, but the battery's been burnt out for uh, a while now. Then of course, you got the steering wheel, the most essential part of any vehicle. Because without it, it'd crash. Like so many people will look at me and be like, he's an old truck, like he doesn't even have, like he doesn't even have Bluetooth. Well, I got a thing where I can put a Bluetooth. So, like that is literally all I need is just a port and I'm good. Like I am, I cannot see myself driving any other vehicle besides Big Dog. This is my first vehicle and it was my dream one. I've literally been driving my dream car since I was 19. Like I remember in high school, I just had this feeling of like accomplishment because I knew that this truck, like once I graduated, I was gonna be able to buy them. And it was just like, I don't know, my truck, gave me some confidence because so many people looked at me and once they saw that I drove a truck, they were like, oh, what the heck, I did not see that for you. Or some of them were like, yeah, that matches you. And for some reason, that made me feel powerful. <laughs> I just have a sense of power when I drive this truck because I'm high up, I can see everything. Like, I feel like nothing's gonna get the jump on me. You know what I mean? There's just like a huge sense of safety and that's, one of the main reasons why I still drive them. No other car has made me feel safe like Big Dog. Now I do need to do some like leather restoration cause this seat has taken a beating. But yeah, I've had so many adventures in this truck and I am really wanting to film more. Like I really want to get a dash cam and we can all go on adventures in Big Dog together someday. Um, There's honestly not much to show you. I mean like he's got a pretty big cab, pretty, pretty spacey. Um, barely any rips or anything in the leather. Shout out to my dad for taking care of this truck. He remember what I said when I was a child. I don't, I don't really know what else to show you, except I could show you where I dropped an ice cream cone on a seat belt. Here, let's see if I can find it. I'm in the back seat now. It has been a fat minute since I've been back here. I literally grew up in the back of this truck, learned to drive in the passenger seat, and now I'm driving the bitch. We've been on a journey. Um, where is my mark? There it is. You see that brown stain? See that brown stain right there? That's from me, because I didn't know how to hold an ice cream cone correctly. I was always dropping that ish, and still my parents got me one. There I look, my kid is a dumbass, but that does not deprive them the right to have an ice cream cone. Kind of funny to think about because this is also like this truck is also where I shot my very first video. I did not have a place to shoot when I was first starting out, like not even in my room. I did not feel comfortable shooting videos when other people were home. And that still holds true to this day. I hate doing things when other people are home. I hate making noise. I hate people knowing that I am there. I just, I don't like it. <laughs> I wanna be as silent as the freaking sun rising, okay? No one hears that shit. They see it, they don't hear them. I think my favorite place to record a video is my truck. He is my baby. He always has been from the moment that I saw him. He was my baby. This little guy up here, he has a little story to him. 
So my dad used to be a firefighter. There's like a whole thing where you need to have an emblem in your vehicle like that. Like, I don't know if it was like protection that you would get to go home from your shift or if it was just like general protection while you're driving. And you know, like I'm superstitious. So it's just like, if this emblem has been in this truck for 20 years and it hasn't been in a single crash, I think it works. Let me show you a secret. I even have another charm that goes along with this guy. And it's just a four loop clover. I keep a four loop clover above the driver's seat in the, what is this called? In the vanity mirror, just for like luck while driving because A, I don't want to be late to anything and B, I don't want to crash. So bring on the lucky charms, dude. And it's not that I'm a bad driver. I just don't trust anyone else. I mean like shit happens all the time too. That's why they're called accidents. There's some stains on this carpet right here. And I'm pretty sure that was from when I was in high school. I may or may not have dropped a coffee. I did, I dropped a coffee, I can't lie. I dropped it, okay? I was stupid. I held it up by the lid and it dropped. I kinda got lucky though since that's like the only stain that I got from it. You can see a little bit more under the chair. But other than that, I got it out pretty good. And down here is a freaking security sticker from when I worked at Marshall's. Just like my room, my truck is a time capsule. I'm starting to notice a disturbing theme here. Like, why am I holding on to these things so much? Like, I seriously should just rip up that security sticker and throw it away, but I'm not going to, because it reminds me of my life. I remember as a kid, like, sitting in this seat and pretending like it was a fire truck. I have a lot of good memories in this seat right here. And it was, just getting to drive places, like just even getting to drive to my prom. I drove my friends to my to our prom, our senior prom. I've done a lot of things, like I have a lot more memories than I talk about, and it kind of makes me sad that I don't talk about them a lot. But honestly, I think that's what kind of makes me more attached to this truck is because of all the things that we've been through together. <laughs> like I know he's an object and he's not alive, but he still has sentimental value to me. And it's really just like sitting here and thinking about those memories that I'm like, wow, I really wish I would have started recording back then. But say la vie, all we have is now. So that means that if I wanna record all my memories in this thing, then I actually have to start doing it. So if you don't like my vlogs, do I have an unfortunate revelation for you? Cause I wanna do more vlogging. I wanna do more of everything, honestly. I'm just, I'm too scared to do it. All right, let me show you what it looks like on the outside. And here he is, Mr. Big Dog himself. So I don't know if you can tell why I called him Big Dog, but in the face, he looks like a big dog. I mean, seriously, imagine just a little kid, like below my knee, looking up at this thing. I think that looks like a dog. And he's in pretty decent condition. The only problem is this rust issue underneath my doors here that I'm trying to get a hold of, but in all honesty, I'm gonna have to remove the metal and just like replace it because it's it's not gonna get saved. It's it's too eaten away. You know, like at least it's a body issue that like can be easily fixed and not something with the engine. The engine is freaking strong as a horse. The engine, by the way, Triton V8. Like the commercial said, should have got a V8. You know, he has some dings and some scratches and some paint chipping off and birds dive bobbing him. Screw you, nature. But other than that, he still looks pretty dang good for his age. Let's see what's under the hood. <gasps> Where's the latch? There's the latch. Ugh. Oh, give me a second. If this camera falls, I'm not gonna be happy. Ah, uh, my thumbnail. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. All right, so. There's my Triton 5.4. This guy, he 20 years old, but he moves like he's fresh out the lot. Of course, he doesn't go to like zero to 60 in seconds, more like zero to 40 in a few seconds. I really do need to dust him. I'm gonna be learning a lot of like care maintenance myself since I am so far out here. Um, Yeah, other than that, nothing much exciting going on over here. Now this is gonna get stuck on me. Sorry, buddy. 
buddy. Sometimes he needs a little manhandling. Now, he is a Ford. However, I am not with Ford Automotives. I just like this truck. If he was a Chevy, I would be driving a Chevy. I have a connection with Big Dog, so I'm driving Big Dog. Honestly, some of my best memories are in this truck because like when I was able to drive, it was like freedom. I was honestly against driving for a minute because I was so scared of having the responsibility of driving a vehicle. I was like, if I crash this, there goes my life because that shit's expensive. Like crashing this truck gave me so much anxiety. I would actually have nightmares about it, but I got over it and I'm much more confident in my ability to be a driver now. I was also 16 at the time, so I took those things very seriously. But yeah, that's basically my truck. Um, I don't, I don't really know what else to tell you about them. Um, thank you to Steven for having the patience of a freaking God. Like it, you asked this for like a freaking year ago and I'm not even sure if I did you justice because I didn't know what all you were wanting to see or all that you were wanting to know. But I hope you enjoyed the little stories and finally getting to see Big Dog in his entirety. Um, anyway, I hope that you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, you know, do all that good-ish, let YouTube know that I am doing a good job. And if you have any questions or comments, just leave one down below and I'll try and answer it as soon as I can. Until next time, thank you so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe out there. Bye!